Let's put a perspective on what's happening here, where we've been, where we're going. And uh, so let, let's get to it. So right now, starting tomorrow, this market is going to either do one or two things. Uh, right now, we're in the heart, the heart of this so-called uh, Santa Claus rally, which really kicks off or kicked off on Friday. Well, this market you know, did put on some gains, nothing major, just a little bit here, but risk in this market is rising. Let's talk about that a moment here. For, for a while, we had a very stable global debt market. Nothing was going on here. 10-year yield, rock solid, MMRI still in a high range, but not doing too much. Even the relative strength of the dollar was very stable. Then all of a sudden, we get this surprise monetary policy adjustment from the Bank of Japan. Uh, allowing their 10-year yield to float as opposed to being fixed. It's an insane situation. The whole bond market is just so twisted, and you all know that. And you also understand that the bond market is the driver of it all. Everything. What do you think central banks collectively have gotten in here and continue to buy all the debt to, to uh, foster the illusion that there's some kind of stability here? And isn't it interesting how you never hear a peep about this from our uh, loving, caring, you know, members of Congress here in the United States or policymakers around the world. All they want to do is conjure up any reason that you can dream about to pull cash into the now. This $1.7 trillion spending spree that they're going to go on here. We don't have the cash. No, we, we're absolutely broke here. It's got to come right from the Federal Reserve, who's more than happy to lend. And, and we haven't seen anything yet, people. Let me just say this. Honestly, moving into 2023, I sincerely believe that they have a few tricks up their sleeve. And they're going to get ready, and they're getting ready now, to unleash this on all of us, the people of the world. So you know what we need to do? We need to band together. We need each other more than ever. I've been telling you this for I don't know how long now. We need each other. Forget about the divide and conquer, dog shit, cat shit mechanism here. If we all could come together, regardless of, of anything else, all right, we could win. Until that happens, and I don't think it's ever going to, because again, they have the, the general population by the throat, the dumbed down they're useful idiots, okay? They hate these people because of this reason. They hate these other people because of that reason. That's what they're being told to do by the tell lie vision, the television. You need to hate these people because they want this. You need to hate these people because they they want that. You need to despise pe these people because of their race, religion, color, political affiliation, whatever it might be. It's a mechanism that's been used since time memorial on the weak-minded, okay? You and me, we're not like that. We are rock solid. We know what we're doing, why we're doing it. We're maintaining a steady keel throughout this whole entire freak show, and we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop ever what you and I have been doing here since day one, understanding the disaster, and I mean it's the absolute disaster that is coming here that we are in right now. It's it's funny, you know. Some of the th some people just don't get it. They 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 buy the nonsense, the propaganda. They think everything is fine. Oh, but these numbers say this, and the these government numbers say that. They're all fake. You know that. All right? Nobody knows that more than you. They just conjure this crap up out of thin air and they fist feed it to you. It's, it's an incredible situation. This is a this is a global scenario where central banks literally have the entire population, except for the one percenters, because you know they're the only <laughs> they're the only ones here who, on a, a real basis, are, are seeing their wages go up here. Uh, they got the world by the throat. It's not going to stop. It's going to get progressively worse. Do you think, honestly, for a nanosecond, that global debt is going to continue to balloon? That things like this $1.7 trillion spending bill, this is just the beginning? No. This has to be increased exponentially just to keep the illusion real. So they're going to find more reasons to pull cash into the now, whether it's this, that, or the other thing. I can promise you it ain't going to be good for you and me. And um, you can expect, unfortunately, 
the mechanism here, which is the backbone of it all, that is to create slaves to the system, is going to get greater and greater and greater. And the pressure upon the middle class is going to increase a lot moving forward as well. And, and, and you know, how, for how many years, a decade, have I explained to you that if you're a member of the middle class, you literally have a tattoo on your face in the shape of a target. And you are a target. You're being eliminated. You're being exterminated on a grand scale. You're being pushed to the lower rung of society. And that pressure is going to increase on you. Just, I don't know, people, just, you know, bet against the debt. Become your own central bank here. Get together with like-minded people. Understand what you're doing, what they're doing to you. And this is central banks. This has nothing to do with Republicans, Democrats, or anything else. It's central banks who run the entire show. <clears throat> Washington and the investment banks with the Federal Reserve and all of these other central banks around the world, they're, they work in concert. We have an environment right now since Japan decided to, you know, allow the 10-year yield to float around a little bit. We're injected some fear, some uncertainty into what, what is the, the greatest threat to humankind, and that is the debt bubble, period, the end. We watched a sell-off here in the debt market occur, uh, and, and, that's, and that's not good. Uh, it, it's not a good sign moving forward. So... We watched global bond yields rise and risk is rising in this market, period. So that's really the driver here. You all know this already, all right? If Let's just put a hypothetical out here. Is risk on going to remain risk on or is it going to turn to risk off? Right now, we're in a state of flux. Right? Risk on meaning cash seeking uh, to get into the equity market or risk off cash going into things like gold and silver. Um, the most undervalued assets on the planet, in, in Greg Manorino's perspective. I, I know those of you that follow this blog have been watching the price action of gold and silver for months. It's been going higher and higher and higher. And I think moving into 23, you know, we're going to see this continue here as global debt continues to balloon out of control. And actually, it's being controlled. Central banks are doing everything they can here, along with our policymakers, to pull trillions of dollars into the now, fund wars, expand wars, propagate wars, walk speed vaccines, and everything that you can dream about and think about and things you can't even imagine to keep the system going. Every, people, you know how this works, all right? Central banks are being empowered by our policymakers, and they have been for a very, very long time. When you hear a politician, a president, or someone calling for negative rates a weaker currency. How does this happen? It empowers the central banks. Um, and it's a game that is being played. And it, it's a very dangerous game. You all know that here. So what are we going to do? This is so simple for you and me. We're not going to stop what we're doing. Bidding against the debt, becoming our own central bank. If you're in this market like I am, look for opportunity here. Uh, large cap, dividend paying stocks, dividend paying ETFs, large cap as well. Um, and just, just wait. Again, if you look at the MMRI, which I hope you pay attention to, again, free to everyone, link in the description of this video. I had to write this down. We're sitting at 243. All right. We know where the red line in the sand is here. It's at 300. Uh, when, when the MMRI crossed 300, there was panic mode. All right. They floated out Nick the Pig, Mary Dolly. They talked the market higher. We watched the uh, MMRI dropped precipitously. So we know where the red line in the sand is. They realize that's the extreme danger zone. When we cross 300, it's extreme risk. You understand? Anyway, so the key to what we're seeing now, if we're going to really get this Santa Claus rally, which I said truly began Friday, should play out this week, depends on stability here in the debt market. Is the debt market going to remain stable? Well, you know, that remains to be seen. Um, but we know what we're looking at, you and I. We're paying, to paying attention to the global bond yields, 10-year yield, relative strength of the dollar, which tells you the relative strength of the dollar is a huge tell, okay? When you get the knee-jerk reaction into the dollar and the dollar rises, that's, that's a fear trade, all right? If you were to look at, let's just, see, let's just forget the MMRI for a moment. If you were going to look at whether the market is fearful of something, all you would need to do is look at the Dixie or the relative strength of the dollar. Generally, when you see these moves higher in the dollar, that's fear. 
Okay, when you have fear in the market, what does that do? You generally see stocks fall under pressure. You understand? This is so simple, this stuff. Um, the, the, the big thing here, people, and no one knows this better than you, the key, the absolute key to this is the debt market, which is the largest market of them all. And every single thing derives value. Every asset derives value as to what is occurring in the debt market. So everything else is a derivative of action occurring in the debt market. You understand? I think you do. If you follow this blog, you know more about this market than I think 99% of the people in, on this planet Earth. And it's just so simple to understand. It's always a cause and effect. It's a cause and effect. You should know where to look here. The distortions that exist today in all of the markets are, are astronomical. We've never seen anything like this before. And do you think that's by accident? Do you really think that the global debt market hyperbubble is by accident, that central banks aren't coordinating with policymakers to pull trillions of dollars into the now to hyperinflate the global debt bubble? That's not going to stop. And I've been telling you this for the longest time. Not going to stop until we get a massive sell-off here in the debt market, an uncontrolled sell-off, and that's going to happen by design. It's not going to be by accident, and that's going to melt down global equity markets or stock markets like you can't believe. The biggest stock market crash, global stock market crash, ever, ever, ever in history is coming, but it's not going to start in the stock market. It's going to start in the debt market when we get that sell-off. This is why I created the MMRI. The MMRI measures risk based on credit or debt, you understand, and how it gets reflected in the stock market. It's very simple. It's also kind of an economic indicator as well. The higher the MMRI goes, well, the worse off we're all going to be.